Anger and sadness growing after the death of Sonia Massey, a mother of two shot and killed by an Illinois sheriff's deputy who responded to her home. Massey has family ties to Arkansas, and now there's a swell of support from them calling for justice. A warning, we're going to show you some of the video of moments before the shooting. It might be disturbing. THV 11's Rebecca Brown, here's some of the message that those groups are voicing right now. I knew that it was going to really hit me in my core because this is a woman who looks like me, who sounds like me, who sounds like all the women that I love, that I've grown up with. Coffee Davis is the director of March for Black Women and Girls. She created the organization to spread awareness about violent crimes, especially those involving black women, women like Sonya Massey. We should not have any more Sonya Masseys, Sandra Glanz. We should not have any more. We shouldn't have to say her name. We should have law enforcement that comes into the home and protects you. Sonya Massey was shot and killed by police on July 6th. In the release body cam video, you can see Illinois Deputy Grayson and his partner searching Massey's home and then entering it. In the video, Deputy Grayson can be heard telling Massey to turn off a pot of boiling water. That is when things take a turn. We cut the video there before Deputy Grayson fires three times, hitting her in the face. Massey's father, James Wilburn, was from Pine Bluff and attended a rally Sunday night. Organized for city officials, community leaders, and law enforcement to speak up about this ongoing problem. No matter how many times you watch the video, no matter how many times you rewind it, slow it down, freeze it, the conclusion is still the same and should still be the same. The use of force, the use of deadly force, was unjustified. That thought being echoed across the state. And I just feel like until we look at each other as human beings, you could do that to a person and to a person's family and everyone who loves her. It's just, it was heartbreaking. Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. And Deputy Grayson has now been fired and is charged with first degree murder. He is being held without bond and he is pleading not guilty.